Mr. Guy, thanks for joining us. Great to well, have you back in South Africa. It's thanks, uh, probably about the umpteenth time you come back, yeah, to no, be precise. I've been here a few times. I uh, love the place. It's fantastic. The people, uh, the scenery, the horses, everything's just fantastic. It's a great place to come and visit, a great place to come racing. It's just wonderful. Absolutely incredible that in the last week of October, with the Melbourne Cup beckoning, that you blokes are here in South Africa. Uh, yeah, that, that does sting a little bit. Uh, we haven't done this this time of year for quite some time. Uh, the last year was when the Japanese Quinella the Melbourne Cup and Delta Blue won and uh, missed that one, but stayed at home for the last few spring carnivals, but thought we'd come this year for the ready to run sales, and because uh, there's quite a few Aussies in, in those sales and plenty running on Saturday, so we thought we'd come and support the, the guys who support us and uh, and take one for the team and miss miss the miss Derby Day on Saturday, miss Cup Day Tuesday and Oaks Day on Thursday, but um, it's all worthwhile to be here. Wonderful night just racing here and then Saturday is going to be just a tremendous day I think and uh, a couple of really good ready to run sales to go with it. It's an exciting time to be here. Well I don't want to put the mockers on these two horses running now but it really looks very very hard to oppose this daughter of Rock of Gibraltar, Al Boran C is already shown herself to be a high class filly and the ever game, ever consistent homebred daughter of Where's That Tiger? Al Boran C uh, came through the Melbourne sale, Melbourne English at Premier and um, very proud of her. She was the, she's the first group one winner out of a new section called the Blue Raban where we're targeting horses that, that have claims to be sort of classic horses. Now <laughs> she's a two year old group one winner and she sort of breaks the mould but on paper she says that she's, she's a, a classic contender doesn't look like she is that. She looks like she's a bit got more speed than that. And uh, but she looks terrific tonight. Mike's done a wonderful job with her, and uh, it's great that Mary Slack and Michael Javitt are, are having success with her. Um, she's from a very very good stud farm at home, and uh, she, as I said, she came through the Premier Sale at Inglis, and as Gugu did, and Black Caviar and Sacred Kingdom and. Star Spangled Banner and a whole range of really good horses. So um, she's just another one to come and fly that banner, um, which we're really proud of. So we thought it was nice to be here tonight for her. Clever girl. There's always been this incredibly friendly rivalry between South Africa and Australia and you volunteered what we consider to be a priceless story about the very place at which we are standing right now in the heart of Johannesburg at Turfentane Racecourse. Well absolutely, Turfentane is conquering Australia, um, which uh, might need a little explaining but we have a stallion standing at home called Turfentane who's by Johannesburg so he's particularly well named and uh, his oldest crop are three-year-olds and he's currently the, the leading second crop sire in Australia. Uh, he has a filly called Fontaine Ruby who's won four of the last five and uh, won two Group 2 races, won a Group 2 against the boys last start, heading to the Oaks now um, next Thursday. So uh, everyone should get on board that. Uh, hopefully the races are shown on Teletrack. You can get up early in the morning and, and cheer her home. And then next Saturday you'll see a filly run called Fontaton who's also by Turfentane a two-year-old filly who's just a glorious specimen, uh, sold through the, the English Premier sale as Fontaine Ruby was. Both are products from Blue Gun Farm where incidentally all the horses that come from Australia uh, to South Africa quarantine before so they go to a fantastic farm and get really well looked after. Now Fontaton had her first start on Cox Plate Day in a $250,000 race, so a race worth two and a half million rand, uh, one by six. Uh, was a second outside the track record held by Miss Andretti, uh, who'd won five Group 1s in Australia, was Horse of the Year, went to Royal Ascot and won the King Stand Stakes. And uh, she was just outside that track record. She returned a time form rating of 113 at her first ever start. Um, she looks particularly special um, and uh, we're all really proud of her and she was a lovely type. Um, Johan Janssen van Vuren was there at the sale. Uh, with me in, in Melbourne and uh, 
we were very keen on her. We didn't have enough money to buy her, unfortunately, and because she, she might have ended up here. But uh, they're the sort of stories that can happen. And uh, but she's by Turfentine, who who's doing a wonderful job. Mar Shercliffe has a lovely Turfentine colt in Singapore. That's uh, that's a winner there already. I think it's a really nice synergy because South Africans come and support our our industry really well. We really enjoy it, and there's such a great friendly friendly rivalry between us with the rugby and the cricket and the racing and. Uh, and we always get such a wonderful reception every time we come here. Um, everyone's willing to give us a hard time, but always have a beer and a nice glass of red, which you do make a very good red, I must say. Um, what is the Hunter Valley? Barossa um, Valley? Uh, I think you got the Hunter Valley covered. I'm not sure about the Barossa. Um, <laughs> and we have a little place in Victoria called Heathkit. So if you can get your hands on some Shiraz from Heathkit, do yourself a favour, and you'll go. You'll be very. You'll be very happy indeed.